Midland Public Library's Easy Embroidery Program. My name is Jennifer Witt and I'm the Maker Place Coordinator here at MPL. Over the summer, my sister-in-law, Chelsea Craft, who is an incredible embroidery artist, inspired me to try embroidery for the first time and I instantly fell in love with it. I wanted to share that feeling with everyone here in Midland and so I created this program. That being said, because I'm still new to embroidery, I am of course not an expert, and so I'm inviting you to learn along with me. Let's get started. To begin, let's talk about the obvious question. What is embroidery? Embroidery is the art of decorating fabric, among other materials, using a needle to apply thread, yarn, and other mediums like beads and sequins in intricate patterns and designs. And it can look like this, 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 or even this. But before we jump into that, let's talk about what's in your kit. In your kit, you will have gotten an easy embroidery handbook. This basically just outlines what's going to happen in the program, gives you an agenda, and talks about some wrapping up issues. But we'll get to that in a minute. You will also have gotten a 5 inch bamboo embroidery hoop, a marking pen that is water soluble, one embroidery needle, three pieces of practice fabric as well as some practice embroidery floss, a piece of good fabric with a variety of different colors of floss for the final project. You will also have gotten four different designs for the final project. You'll get to choose which you'd like to do as well as some font tracers. So when you learn to embroider font, you'll be able to trace these on your final project or while you're practicing um, to embroider over top of. A couple of quick notes about some of the materials. First, the fabric you got for the final project is a beige, but you are not tied to this piece of fabric. If you prefer one of your practice pieces, you will have gotten some in white, maybe a blue, maybe a green, it depends on the kit you got. Um, if you prefer one of those, feel free to swap it out for the final project. Second, everybody got one embroidery needle. We're gonna ask you to return this at the end, but if you happen to misplace it because you only got one, um, you can use a regular sewing needle. The only difference between the embroidery needle and a regular uh, sharp sewing needle is that the eye of the needle is a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, making it easier to thread through the uh, thick embroidery floss. Third, as I mentioned, the marking pen is water soluble. Um, that means that you can write on fabric with it, and when you want to remove it, all you need to do is either take a spray bottle of water and just spray the fabric and it'll disappear, or you can get a damp paper towel and just dab the fabric and it'll disappear that way as well. Please note that some of the pencils are marking pens. They come in a variety of different colors and everybody got a different color in their kit. Some of them will begin to fade with time. Um, so just be mindful of that when you're working on your projects because your design might not be there a few days later. Finally, for the practice embroidery floss, I gave everyone either a beige or a brown. Um, the reason I did that is because they're less sought after for um, your final project. They're not as pretty of colors as the variety that you got for the final project. I wanted to make sure that everyone would have enough beautiful colors uh, to work on for their final project and didn't waste them during the practice stage of this uh, program. But if you want to try a flower or um, a font or a stitch in one of these colors, you can do that as well. Just make sure you leave yourself enough of this pretty color um, for the final project or you'll be disappointed. Now that we've covered that, um, a couple of other materials you're gonna need to supply for yourself are things like scissors. You're going to need some tape. Um, and of course, a comfortable place to sit. 
Moving on, let's talk about the program agenda. So this is what you're going to learn in the course. First up, every Monday at 4 p.m. until December 14th, a new Easy Embroidery video will be released to MPL's YouTube channel in the Easy Embroidery playlist. So you'll be able to rewatch these videos after they're posted up until the new year. Okay, this week is just an introduction. We're talking about the materials in your kit, how to load your hoop, um, how to prepare your floss and thread your needle. Next week, so that'll be November 9th, we're gonna go over the basic stitches that you should know. Then, November 16th, we're gonna go over how to do stems and leaves. Next, on November 23rd, we'll talk about flower patterns and you get to do some beautiful flower work. Then, November 30th, we're gonna talk about fonts, so how to actually embroider words into your project. Then, on December 7th, we'll start the final project, finishing it up on December 14th. All right, before we jump into loading your hoop, let's talk about the last page of your Easy Embroidery Handbook uh, that says wrapping up. At the end of this program, there are three tasks that we're gonna ask you to complete. Number one, please return any leftover materials. So I'm gonna ask you to return any leftover floss or fabric, um, your embroidery needle, and also your marking pen. By doing so, you're helping us to reuse materials to continue providing programming to the public. Second, I'm going to email you a survey uh, to get your feedback on the program and I would love for you to complete it. By completing the survey and giving me your feedback, it allows me to improve my programs. And third, I'm gonna ask you to submit a photo of your final project. Because we can't do in-person programming right now, we aren't able to share our work in person in the library. So I would love to do a post on social media or send out an email to you all with some of the work other program participants have done so you can see what everyone's up to, what everybody accomplished at the end of this program. Okay, now that all of that's out of the way, let's jump into the fun stuff. You're going to need a pair of scissors, your needle, a piece of practice fabric, your practice embroidery floss, your hoop, of course, and you will also need your marking pen. Go ahead, pause the video now, get all your materials ready, and we'll get started. First up, loading your hoop. To load your hoop, you're gonna start by loosening off this knob. Then you can remove the inner or lower hoop, the smaller of the two. You'll see that your hoop can now expand or contract, it can get bigger or smaller. So set that one aside for now and grab your piece of fabric. Center your fabric over the smaller of the two hoops. Then take the outer hoop and place it on top. Now, tighten the outer hoop. You might see that your fabric starts to bunch up a little bit. But that's okay, we're just gonna gently pull on the fabric as we tighten it to make sure that it stays nice and taut like a drum. Once you have it about as tight as it will go, you're all set. Next, let's prep your floss. Start by finding the end of your floss. Then, we're going to measure out a piece that is about the length from the tip of your fingers to your elbow. Go ahead and cut that. Embroidery floss has six threads or six strands of, uh, of the floss. So depending on how intricate your design is, you can separate the floss into smaller pieces. So if you're doing a very fine design, you might only use two strands. 
If you're doing something that's a little bit bigger, you could use all six. For this project, a lot of the time we'll probably separate the, um, the floss in half, so three and three. You can see that there's three and three there, I think. And I'm just gonna start gently pulling those apart into two sections. Voila, you can see I have two identical pieces of floss, three strands each. Now it's time to thread your needle. So the first thing I like to do is to cut the end of my floss a little bit so I have a nice even end. And I'll occasionally just lick my finger and get it a little bit wet it's a little easier to work with. There are conditioners and things you can buy for this instead of licking your finger. So then you're just going to thread your floss through the eye. Okay. Once you've gotten it through, you're gonna leave a section that's about as long as your thumb hanging off one end. On the end of the longer end, we're gonna tie a knot. Some people like to only tie it twice. I like to do it three times. I'm just paranoid that uh, my floss will pull through my fabric, so I always end up doing three just to be safe. You have to make sure that your knot ties on the same spot every time. And now, your floss and needle, as well as your hoop and fabric, are ready to start embroidering. Finally, let's test out your marking pen. Quickly, I'm just gonna check to make sure that my marking pen works, number one, and two, that it can be removed easily. So I'm just gonna make a small line I believe you can see that. And I'm gonna dab it with a wet tissue. And voila, no more mark. With all of that done, you're ready for next week, where we're gonna jump into basic stitches that every beginner embroiderer needs to know. I wanna thank you for joining me for the introductory video to MPL's Easy Embroidery Program, where we make embroidery so simple. Bye everyone, and I'll see you next Monday at 4 p.m.